What's going on, y'all? It's Tom with Favalor Farms, and we're coming to you live on this brisk 100 plus degree day in South Louisiana. It's the second week of August 2022, which happens to be my birthday month. So, with that being said, my whole family knows about this very ambitious plan I have of creating this backyard food forest. So, they all wanted to know what kind of plant could they get me to add back here. So, this year, we're going with blueberries. So between my mom and my grandmother, I have just acquired eight new blueberry bushes that we have planted between all of my fruit trees along the backyard, which I'll go through with you guys right now. So starting over here in the corner, just behind our Meyer lemon tree, which has a whole bunch of fruit on it right now, and our Satsuma tree, I forget which variety this is. We've got our first blueberry, the O'Neill blueberry. This blueberry bush is an early producer. Looks really nice. So all of my trees in my backyard are planted about 12 feet apart. So I have offset each of these blueberry bushes between the two, the two fruit trees set back towards the fence. Our second variety right here is a Jubilee blueberry, which is a mid-season blueberry. I tried to pick varieties that will fruit all throughout the year or throughout the season, let me rephrase that. So we can have about three or four months of picking blueberries back here. So right next to our other Satsuma tree, which has some very nice looking fruit on it, is my Climax blueberry. This is an early producing blueberry really like the color of the foliage with this gray green color kind of like an olive bush look very nice so coming around next to our climax we have a brightwell blueberry bush this is going to be an early to mid-season bush um, what i really like about these is that in the fall you'll see the leaves are going to turn red this one's already starting to do that this should be very nice um, and what the goal is, obviously these blueberry bushes are going to get six to eight foot tall, hopefully, and widen up to where we can then have basically a green hedge along the fence of all blueberry bushes. Um, between our two apple trees right here, I'm going to let my wife decide which, what we're going to put there. But next to the first four blueberries, we're going to come along, come through the apple section of the orchard. And we're gonna have our Triff Blue Blueberry. This is another one that's gonna have some red foliage on it in the fall as it's starting to turn already. Um, this is an early to mid season blueberry. Next to the blue tip, the Tiff Blue, we're gonna have our Blue Ridge Blueberry. This bush is also looking very nice, as you can see here so that you guys can see how I do have them all offset behind our fruit trees. So coming around, Blue Tiff is going to be starting our stone fruit right here. Um, we have our nectar, one of our nectarine trees. Then we're going to have our powder blue blueberry right there. This one also looks very nice. Really like the way the foliage looks on that one. Next to our other nectarine tree that's jamming is our last blueberry bush, which is another bright well. Um, I didn't mean to grab two of them, but kind of is what it is. So once again, thanks for coming along. This is my backyard food forest. We have growing in a neighborhood in South Louisiana. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Have a good one guys. See you on the next one.